I've been off a couple of days, but I had to come back for the dance. Uh, the geeks are here, <laughs> Ryan and Bert, and we're talking about uh, some new uh, things. Galaxy S7 first. So this this has just come out in the yes, last. Yes, actually, it officially comes out on uh, Friday, the 11th. Okay. But it, the pre-orders have gone out. Okay. But this is the latest flagship phone on the Android side by Samsung, the okay. leading manufacturer opposite Apple. Mm -hmm. It's very much like the Samsung Galaxy S6, but the two models, like the iPhone, is the S7 and the S7 Edge. But I will say, even as an Apple fan, this is a beautiful phone, really? okay. and I think that they've done a lot of things to make it better. What, is, what is making it better? Well, it's water resistant for one, so okay. if you spill your coffee on it or something happens at your lunch dinner table, it's totally okay. Mm -hmm. The camera is always very good, and what they really talk about is the screen on the edge. So they're able to make the phone narrow in, narrower in your hand okay. because the screen extends to the sides, ah. and they can put notifications, little pieces of text, so on even the side. It, on the side of the phone. So okay. even if it's lying on a table, you can read some messages coming in without having to look at the top of your phone. And now, keep it on the down low that you're, yeah, you yeah, have to pick up the phone. Absolutely. Now, of course, the challenge is there's still no removable battery, so big geeks, major geeks are upset about that, uh -huh. but you can now have an SD card to expand the memory. And uh, I got to hold one, a guy named Kaleo that I ride shared with yesterday. <laughs> it's, it is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. awesome. That's the uh, Galaxy S7. Okay, now, uh, Bert has in his hand a complete computer in his hand. It's called the Raspberry Pi 3, and that sells for how much? 35 bucks. A whole computer for 35 bucks. Now, thanks to Ricky Lee, we got this yesterday. He got it in the mail yesterday, okay. <clears throat> and this is brand new. Uh, in fact, I think they're running out, of, running out of stock right now. But this is a $35 computer. Basically, you can do anything that you can with you know, some major computing. It has four USB, one gigabyte of RAM, 1.2 gigahertz processor. You have an SD for, uh, for storage. You have power. You also have an Ethernet port. And you can control basically in input output of sensors. OK, so you can make it talk to or communicate with just about anything like your, your, well, you your know, blender? I've seen, your... I've seen, yeah, I've seen uh, people do a little uh, uh, like a tea brewing, you know, brew your tea, uh -huh. uh, a little radio station. They can make a little pirate, pri pirate radio station. Okay. You can do a little uh, weather station. So you can create a whole bunch of stuff with it. Uh, just like you would a computer, but you have all the input output for sensors and whatever. So this is popular with those who are part of what you call the maker There's movement. There's a whole maker you know, movement, right? right so wait. you can take a, uh, just the core of a computer mm -hmm. and then control things, lights and, you know, and sensors and whatever, as opposed to like buying a whole Windows machine or right, a Macintosh right. and try to do it. It's amazing how small that is. 35 bucks. Remember, it wasn't that long that what computers took and now if you if you room, buy something like right. this and you yeah. want to try to figure it out, you can go to high capacity and you know those guys will help. Yeah, that's know. a little okay. makerspace. Okay, we have one more thing and, and not much time, but we're going to talk about drones. And uh, now with collision avoidance. That's right. So yeah. this is the Phantom 4 also just came out. And yeah. it's primary selling point in addition to being able to go 45 miles an hour and everything is that it can follow you it have, does visual uh, anal analytics so you can say this is me and then walk around and it'll track you but more importantly like other drones um, even when it loses control it can fly back to you but previously if there was a building or a mountain in the right. way it would just run right crash into it. and yeah. that was the video that we, we saw previously saw, yeah. so now it can actually tell that whether you are piling it piloting it toward a tree <laughs> or if you are moving toward a building near the Blaisdell uh, it can avoid that actually rise up above the obstacle and then come back to you. So when it's fourteen hundred dollars, the same price as the previous one, but yeah. your investment is probably a little more safe that way. Is this the same kind of technology that cars have with these collision avoidance? Is I that think that, along the same lines. I or? think they're very related. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Now on the radio, you guys, five o'clock. What's the topic? Today? Well, we're going to talk entrepreneurs. There was the uh, Hawaii Venture Capital Association the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. So we invited three companies to come in and talk about what it's like to be a winner as well as an entrepreneur. Okay, it's Bert, it's Ryan, it's Bite Marks Cafe on Hawaii Public Radio tonight at 5 o'clock at 89.3. And now we dance. Okay, the geeks on Hawaii <laughs> News Now Sunrise. We'll be right back. I love it. This is the part everybody remembers. <laughs>